so today we're gonna take a look at my brand new m1 2021 ipad and in this video it's kind of just like an unboxing of the ipad that i got which was in silver base model and everything I was gonna get the black model, but I already have the Space Gray 2020 iPad Pro, so I wanted to switch things up. Talking about switching things up, we have the brand new white Magic Keyboard. I was kind of skeptical on getting this since the black one has a lot of dirt. Not really a lot of dirt, but it just picks up dirt a lot because of the material it uses. But I'm a huge fan of white peripherals, so I decided to get the white Magic Keyboard for sure. So you might be thinking, yo Siobhan you're kind of weird because personally I just love watching unboxing videos. I would watch like 30 unboxing video of the same iPad over and over again because they're just something satisfying when you unbox brand new Apple products or any product in general, just ripping that plastic off, revealing the product, seeing all the small details on the box. It's just something to it that I think only a certain of people appreciate. Lifting the box off, you could see we have the iPad front and center. Of course, you know, we have your regular books and stuff like manuals showing you how to use the iPad, your warranty information and all of that. But most importantly, what do you think I'm looking for? You got it. Those Apple stickers. This is the most important thing about unboxing an iPad. I'm not sure what you guys do with your Apple stickers, but I'll just put them in a box. We do get a USB-C to USB-C lightning cable and also a power brick for fast charging. Now, time to rip open the iPad itself. The silver actually looks really nice and I think it's going to work well with the white magic keyboard. I wanted to be a bit more gentle with the iPad since my fingers was kind of cold to the touch so I didn't really want to smudge or like get the screen messy. Reason being is that we will be installing the paper like screen protector. But don't worry, I really know to install those screen protectors, they call me the screen protector goat. But in the meantime, let's turn on this iPad. So this year again another iPad, few little changes. We only have the brand new M1 processor and especially since it's the 11 inch, we didn't get that mini LED screen, but we also got a front facing camera that has this new feature called center stage, which uses the brand new wide angle front facing camera to track your movement, which is perfect for conference calls. But now let's go ahead and install our paper like screen protector. And if you guys want to get paper like, you could use the link down below in the description. A lot of people get scared whenever they're installing screen protectors, but it's very simple. Just make sure you work in a clean environment, you wipe down your screen, your hands are clean, and most importantly, you follow the instruction manuals. Luckily, paper-like instructions are fairly simple. They give you some sticky hinges that you could use to attach to the side of the iPad by using the sticky adhesives. And the goal is to make it as if it's a book. Once that's finished, you peel off the other side, exposing the sticky part of the screen protector. Then you just place it down and then it will do the magic. You might get a few, you know, like air bubbles and stuff like that. You could just use the microfiber clean cloth or use your hands and just push the air out. If there's a tiny hair underneath the um, screen protector, you could just lift it up, use the sticky adhesive, and then grab those hair out. And when you're finished, it would look something like this. Okay, now it's the fun part, or kind of the annoying part, and that's setting up the iPad. So I grabbed my 2020 iPad, and that's the beauty of Apple products, man. As you can see, we had a pop-up that just basically allows us to hover our older iPad or iPhone device onto the new one, and it basically magically just transfers all the previous apps. Then you just run through the Face ID, verification, and all of that into your Apple ID and passwords for your app stores and also your iCloud. And then 
in no time you're ready to start using your brand new iPad. So in the meantime while the iPad is restored from iCloud, now let's go ahead and take a look at the brand new white Magic Keyboard. Man, this Magic Keyboard actually looks really nice. And inside this package right here, or inside the Magic Keyboard, you have this little booklet which just basically houses instruction manuals teaching you how to use the Magic Keyboard. But it's very simple to use. I'm not sure why Apple decided to waste, you know, resources to put inside this thing. So I'm just gonna throw those away because we don't need it, baby. So yeah, the keyboard sounds nice. It feels good, it looks good. Like slap our iPad onto it and then start doing some typing test. Okay, so you could clearly see that I love this keyboard, but I wanted to compare the black and the white one. The one on the right is the 2020 Magic Keyboard with the 2020 iPad, and the one on the left is, of course, the brand new Magic Keyboard with also the brand new 2021 iPad Pro, both 11 inch. So I just wanted to see if there's, you know, any differences, did Apple do anything to the keyboard to make it sound better, but no. Is the same keyboard another thing i wanted to test out is to see if they increase the backlighting of the keyboards but in honesty they both look the same they're maxed out levels and they both look the same to me if there's a difference let me know down below in the comments so before i scribble up this is with paper like This is without paper like. So, yeah, the iPad with the paper like screen protector feels more and sounds more traditional, while without paper like, it's not. Now, I'm just gonna show you guys my exquisite drawing skills and talents. Okay, so if you made it this far, comment down below pineapple to confuse everyone else. As always guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.